Hello and welcome to React Studio chat app episode number four. In this episode, we're going to create create a chat room, adding chat room functionality for the for our project. In the previous episode, we created this chat rooms view that contains the list of chat rooms. So now we're going to add a screen for adding chat rooms. So I'm just tracking new responsive screen and let's call this add. Room. and add a navigation bar for it and double click it and add a background and now uh, actually I think we should use maybe white color in the navigation bar text so first we're going to change that so just select the app settings go to app styles and this nav, nav bar title color just change that to white so I think now it looks much better. Okay, so what we need here, actually we need a button and an input field for adding adding chat rooms. I think the chat room, chat room object doesn't need anything else. It's just a chat room or chat room document doesn't need anything else. It's just chat room name. So I think we should create that as a as a own component. So I just drag an empty, empty component from from the menu here, and let's call this a chat room comp, and double click it, background, make it a little bit bigger, I think I'm going to add a key line, put it in the middle, and then just add a text field for a little bit about text. Add an input field for chat room name, and last we need a button for for creating the creating the chat room. So I'll command click all of these and align center to key line, and now they will be centered to key line in every screen size. So I'll start with adding this text here. Create a new chat room and put a placeholder text here. Chat room name and this text. Like this. And I think we should rename this field to something like chat room name. a little bit wider and then just select the button and uh, make an interaction for it so how to save save or add new chat room so when user taps save data save send chat rooms and what we want to do is actually uh, there's a chat room name column link that to field chat room name which is the this field here, and we can leave this this uh, empty here. And this uh, this uh, React Studio will detect so that we are adding new chat room, not updating at updating already existing chat room. If we would come from the list, then it would actually know that we are updating chat room, and it would be the same similar kind of interaction. But now we are adding new chat room. So let's go back to the project map, open the add a chat room screen and we can just drag this component onto the screen. Make it uh, full width like this and we're about, we're almost ready. We need, what, what we still need is a, is a button so that user can actually enter this add a chat room screen here. So let's go to chat rooms. I can simply uh, drag an icon button on top of everything. I'm, I'm all, uh, clicking the Alt at the same time, so it will be placed on the foreground group. And now it's uh, aligned from the left, but I want it to be aligned from the right. So I'll just click the right and move it there. Change the element color to white. 
let me change the change the icon for it I think maybe it's just a plus plus icon looks great then go to interact and add a interaction when user taps go to add a chat room and now we have a we have a connection from chat rooms to add a chat room so we can just test it out open the browser and there's only one chat room at the moment so you can see on the back back end that there's just one chat room if we click this one let's create a chat room called photographers create a chat room and go to back end and now there's two chat room documents one is called photographers and like you can see uh, i think it would be nice to have a interaction when user has clicked and chat room is create, created we could go to the chat room list immediately so let's fix that next let's go to studio and uh, add a chat room go select the button and add an interaction there so second interaction would be go to chat rooms and again test it in the browser we have two chat rooms if we add another one let's call it cars so now we add a chat room and then we then we navigate to the chat rooms screen okay thank you this is this was the fourth episode and the next episode we are going to create actually the chat room and writing chat messages so hope you enjoyed and see you in next episode